Hey everyone, welcome to a new campaign, Ultimate Admirals Dreadnoughts, uh, starting year 1910, German Empire. Um, really having fun playing this game. Uh, 102 has been a pretty good improvement, although it does have some bugs, as I found out last campaign. So we try to steer clear of those. Hopefully a hot patch will come out soon. Um, I, I really want to touch on, too, I love history, and there's so many great uh, presentations on YouTube. I'm going to put a bunch of links on there. I am sure that anybody watching this probably has seen uh, series like The Great War uh, or uh, Dracina Fell, uh, things like that. But I'm going to go ahead and put them down there just in case you haven't. Or if you're like me, you start watching those, and then you fall down this rabbit hole of really, really amazing uh historical, uh, basically documentaries put on by just regular people that are that are great, entertaining, and uh, you learn something. So uh, with a click, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and build my own ships too. It seems like a lot of people like watching how things get set up. And uh, this is the first time I play in 1910, so uh, I'll just do the best I can. Try to, as best I can, match the British in uh, tonnage. So I'll try to match close battleships, battle cruisers, and heavy cruisers. Uh, looks like no torpedo boats. Well, we'll see what happens here. All right. So finances. We're at plus thirty-seven million at a hundred percent. Research. All right. Anything close? Hull protection. Triple bottom. More hall weight, longer construction time for a little bit of pro torpedo protection. Gun layout. Ooh, that looks really. That looks really good. We're gonna we're gonna try to speed that one up. Um, torpedo sizes. You can never go amiss. We're gonna speed that one up too. Torpedo propulsion. And we're gonna speed that one up. Hull construction, what are we missing? Uh, ship construction time, that's Special machinery at seven months. Electro hydraulic steering gear. That's actually that's actually pretty good. But I don't see me building brand new ship class soon. Not without having some like getting this gun layout would be great. Uh, new torpedo size propulsion. So we'll have all that done, um, and then we'll have to crank up the uh, crank up the research and finances when we figure out what we're gonna do here. All right. So first things first, they got five battleships. So new design. Dreadnought one. So, like I typically like to do, I'll crank the range down, crank the bulkheads up. We're at maximum displacement, quarter standard. <clears throat> Engine cost per weight, floatability, fuel cost. 
I don't think we're actually buying any fuel because that part of the campaign isn't turned on yet. So it's really about floatability and ammo detonate detonation chance and smoke interference. Engine cost per weight. Let's see what happens here. Induced. Wow. I I can just see the cost. The cost is going up. It's going up. Let's just see what I can do. Ox one, I like them ship repair, ship repairs, water pumping, turret traverse speed, rudder shift speed, turning rate. Oh, here's a new thing, propeller shaft. Yeah, see, this is why I like that it, that next click up in in uh, technology, because that's just kinds of stuff here. Wow. Technology is expensive. I haven't even started putting parts on them already up to 12 million. Well, we'll just build the best we can and see what happens. And I torp double bottom, reinforced bulkheads, and I fly two, citadel two. Okay. Okay, there we go. Four, 15 million for what's essentially now a gigantic waterbed. All right. here so advanced tower one aiming speed man that's just bigger communications range more damage control Efficiency. What happens if we go to Tall Funnel 2? Really? One, one single funnel. One single funnel. Gets me at 100% engine efficiency. So what happens is 830 tons. 
That's interesting. 100% engine efficiency. I've only got literally one standard. I could put two of these on. But really, what I'd like to do. Guns. We're going to go with the biggest guns we can get. And I got some aft weight problems. I think I can. Was I able to? Just yep, just won't fit on. Okay. So let's go side guns thirteen. Mates, French. Alright, 
what else can we do here? Hydraulic turrets. Yeah, this is what I didn't like. I didn't like the electro hydro because you get those gigantic leap in flash fire spreading and after watching my previous campaigns ships just go up like match heads this might not be bad though Well, let's let's keep doing things. T1 maybe, yeah. Basically 750 tons over. How can we help the Koenig? And I always end up getting faster by getting less protected. Yeah, we'll just 
we'll just stick this right here. All right. So the Koenig. Really good firepower main guns. Not super fast, not super protected, but all the best technology we can buy. We're going to go ahead and save this. Alright, new design, battle cruisers. Now this is where I should excel because apparently I like making fast, no armored, big gun ships. Range zero, bulkheads many. Efficiency. Is this going to be the same thing? No, I need two of these. What do I just got? 11. So I need like 22. Okay. 24 is more like it.
What can we do for secondaries? Five inch. Casemates, four inch. Torpedo launchers. The Friedrich Karl. All right, I'm not gonna mess with the armor. Well, let's do this. I'll just bump him up to eight, just cause. Oof. Get any faster? Twenty four point five. Oh, yeah, twenty five. Well, I bet you I can make an adjustment.
So I've got all the things. Did I buy torpedo? Yes, torpedo launchers, casemates, four inch casemates, five inch duels. Twenty six knots. I think I like it. Of course, I'm going to wait for the game to tell me just how incredibly bad my design is. <clears throat> All right. So let's go back and look. Finances, how much money do I have? I currently have 318 million. Okay, that's great. And the British have five battleships and three battle cruisers. So now we're going to go do 11 cruisers. Ship design. So five battleships would be basically a third of my money. Three battle cruisers to keep up with them would be another 70 million. So we're over half right there. But that's fine because during the war I can make I can make destroyers. That's all fine. All right, new design. Armored Cruiser 2. So let's start. Uh, range. Bulkheads. Yeah, it won't go that way. Okay. Secondary, rear tower five, which we'll is right there. All right, torpedo launchers because there's no such thing as never having torpedoes. Apparently, is what this game has taught me. Torpedoes is greater than all. efficiency all right so what do we got here four five seven nine ten so what's this 5.5 gonna get us Ooh, that's like nothing very big is gonna get us wow those if we need to. Alright, main guns. Centerline guns. I got 2,000 tons to deal with, which I can still, wow, this guy's doing 28 knots already. Um, let's go ahead and put that in there. And 
let's make this really big. fit an 11 inch turret up forward no not with that all right so let's do this see if we can work the problem backwards all right he fits right there so now I go back to main front tower four These are both marked front tower four, but they're that should be probably front tower five, I suspect. Now I can't put eleven inch guns on this hall because it won't fit in the front. All right, so that's fine. So kill that, kill that. Guns, center line guns, 10 inch. Yeah, there we go. I don't understand this where okay I can put the sing I can put single bear I just can't put nope can't put five inch there either all right so single barrel fours Mates, let's stick with force. So we got a lot of four inch guns. Needle launchers are already on. Aft weight, I'm aft heavy by five, so. That's going to be good. Okay. So, white powder, I think we were calling good, right? Yeah. And we were going to TNT. And we were going to Electro Hydro. We were going to Enhanced. And Range Friend 2, Advanced Radio.
that's good enough for balance. Take him to right there. My dog is apparently bored. Time for squeaky toy. Right. The witter. We'll see. We'll see how that does. Same design. Alright, quick look at the world. Man, that's that's a hundred million right there just in heavy cruisers. light cruisers. All right, ship design. New design. Light cruiser four. Bam. All right. Range. Nothing. Bulkheads. All the bulkheads. Semi induced turbines. Box two. Shaft one, semi balanced, electric, electric, hydraulic, crop two, mm. Mm. forest, and a flip two, citadel two. Main tower six. Kuma Luma. Secondary tower, rear tower seven. Funnels. Let's watch engine efficiency. Oh. We only get one. We only get one choice. One, two, three. That's interesting. So the only thing we can do is air intake funnel large. like a British light cruiser except I don't have a fake funnel main guns what are we gonna put on this fives or sixes maybe
What, what is my reload time? 20 seconds, 15 seconds. So either three or four rounds a minute, basically. See what I can do here. See, the AI was coming at me with this triple thing, and I just thought that was kind of cheesy. I really don't like that this happens. Main gun six. Yeah, see, I can't. I can't. Torpedo launchers, bloop, 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 Everybody on the bridge, grab a gun. Everyone. I... I think that ship's kind of scary, actually. standard I although I think that when we make our destroyers we're gonna put more torpedoes on them all right so what can we do this thing doesn't have any armor on it though that's the thing 20% offset. Can I change anything? No. He's already as back as far back as he can get. It's not doing anything. 
might just have to live with that. Thirty-four knots. That's what we're gonna do. And then You know, I think that's good enough. I'll have to get into that random ship generator and and play around with designs and see just how much can you affect stability. And some of these other numbers. Why is my engine efficiency? See, this happened to me before. Massive amounts. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I did to. Well, that's interesting because we were up at what? Oh, it was way higher than that. So let's do this, since I know what I want to do. Back to semi oil induce turbines, ox two, shaft one, hydraulic, crop two, forced antifluorid, sit. Blah, 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 blah. Main tower, front tower six. Secondary, rear seven. Funnels, large air intake.
I guess it was only 40. Huh. That's terrible. Alright, torpedo launchers. Let's do this real quick. Get back to where it was. Casemate guns. Oh, let's go to main guns. Six inch. Six inch. Casemates. Two inch. Standard, 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 TNT, electric, enhanced loading, 18 inch torps, range C2, and range. There's like a sweet spot. Yeah, like right right in there where we're there we go. Yeah, it's still like forty per tenth of a knot. Apparently I need some more funnel technology. Alright, we're just going to save the Medusa as is. Yes. Yes. Save design. Alright. Large torpedo boat. Or destroyer. Well, let's see what a destroyer will get us. Efficiency, thin funnel two, which is fifteen. Jeez. Torpedo launchers. Deck torpedoes. Okay.
I always pick four inch. like it for the V1. Got a couple of got three four inch guns on a broadside. One forward firing, two well three aftish firing. start out we'll try to match the British as best we can through these three and then and then we'll see and that's just to try to keep the tonnage Wow my light cruisers are fat and my heavy cruisers are anorexic it's terrible I wish I knew what the British sizes were Oh, look at all those pretty names. I wish I could scroll through this box. Okay, five BBs, three BCs, 11. So we'll go like maybe, maybe four, three, 10, and then see what's left over. All right, so Conig. Build ship two, three, four. Build. We're going to add crew and then ship design BCs. Build ship three. And then ship design. Build ship. What do I got left? Fifty four million, okay. But if I remember, if I go to ship design, it's only four of these. going to be way behind on light cruisers and DDs. So I'm going to build four light cruisers. And then the rest DDs. Oh, I can build both of them. All right. So we'll see how that sets us up for tonnage. And between the battle cruisers and battleships, we're kind of maxed out. I would like heavier battleships. So let's, uh, oh, I don't know. So what am I at? 25,200? Yeah, 
Let's just do that. That's fine. And then crew training. And then transport. And then let me just watch and we'll get about 75. No, we want to go like maybe to 65. Okay, world. All right, so we'll just smash the start button. Here we are. But you know what I noticed? We're not being blockaded. No, we're not. That's awesome. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here, and then we'll start this off properly next time and find out what the. Uh, what the beginnings of the first world war were like and how we've done all right thanks for watching see ya